What's going on guys, change of scenery as you can see because I'm in Maastricht which is the south of the Netherlands. Just thought I'd switch things up a bit and uh, away from a different location. Um, as you can see, the laptop lifestyle in full effect. Um, apologies for the sound, I did forget my uh, Rode mic because I wasn't expecting uh, I wasn't expecting to record any videos here, but um, I was in the More Life community. For those that aren't in it, it's a free community that uh, helps people live life on their own terms. If you're not in it, it's the first link in the description box down below. Free access, and you've also got free access to a free social media marketing mini course where I basically show you the, the Upwork funnel, as I like to call it, um, how to get clients through freelance or websites. But anyway, I was in the community and I saw that a lot of people still asked the question, who pays for the ads? And I'm just gonna tell you guys right now without rambling on about it for too long, the client pays for the ads. So if your retainer is 1500 a month, then the client pays 1500 plus an additional budget for the ads. So you do not use your own retainer or your own budget to pay for the ads, the client does that themselves. So let's say your retainer is 1500 and the ad budget is 1000, then the client's investment is 2500, uh, 1500 goes to you and then a thousand gets spent on ads so if you're in the business manager then uh, their uh, billing info is inserted into the business manager by payment settings so it's not your credit card that is attached to the business manager and that is also why i highly recommend that they have the business manager already created and you don't create it for them because then there's always like a little gray area with they, you know they expect you to fill in your credit card details in the business manager which is not what we're going to be doing they need to do it they pay for the ads it's like when you get a house built and you hire a, um, a bricky you know to, to get the house built you don't expect him to pay for the bricks do you it doesn't work like that they pay for the ads you know, and they pay you so the retainer the 1500 that is for your value and your time okay so you're using his resources to basically you know improve his business his company by leveraging facebook ads okay i know this was a very very short video uh, like i said it was just a spare of the moment thing so the question um, arise quite a lot in the facebook group and i thought you know what let's just record a quick video for youtube uh, just to you know put it out there so everyone knows now once and for all let's put it to bed that you do not as a client as a as a social media marketing ac owner pay for the clients as the clients themselves pay for it okay and in terms of how big the budget should be i know there's a lot of people saying that um, a minimum of uh, 500 a month is enough and stuff like that and for a while i used to say to the clients that um about five pounds five dollars a day is okay to start with Obviously, the bigger the budget, the better and the quicker you can get the results, which is definitely true. What I've been doing a lot lately is just by equaling my retainer with the ad budget. Obviously, this is only possible up to a certain extent. So if they've got 10,000 to spend, my retainer is not 10,000. But what I do recommend that if you are charging 1,500 a month for social media marketing, then basically ask them for an additional 1,500 to spend on ads because let's say your retainer is a thousand dollars or pounds and the ad budget is only 200 you know it's a bit um you know it's, it's not really the right um you know amounts so you need to make sure that um, it's at least equal and if not more okay so try and get if if your retainer is a thousand then try and get an additional thousand for the ad budget basically um it's, it is hard when the business hasn't run any Facebook ads just yet, um, which I understand. I think that is the house cleaning, so I'm gonna wrap this video here, but um, make sure that the client knows that uh, they need to spend an additional amount on the ads, and you do not spend money on the ads. The retainer that you get off the client is yours. Okay, guys, like this video, got something out of it. Comment down below uh, what you'd like to see for my channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.